Hey, hey, Tony Gash is here, popping in. I'm on the road, so you gotta forgive me. Been on calls all day and just walking around out here in uh, New Orleans, here working. And met a, met a couple people, met a couple people who from online, so that was kind of cool. But um, wanted to pop in because one of you sent me a video of a guy from the dark and it's just what i thought it's just what i thought and that's why i try to tell y'all it's like when the devil send somebody 90 percent of what they say will make sense you got to understand that when the devil sends somebody he's not gonna send somebody that's just saying everything wrong because that's too obvious and so 50 to 90% is going to make perfect sense. It is the 10% that'll kill you. The 10% that'll kill you. So it's kind of like this right here. If, if we are in the desert and I give you water all day long, I could give you water. And you could love me, love me. You could be like, man, you saved my life. You got water. You changed my life. But at the last second of the night, I give you some strychnine. And that strychnine look like water, but it's poison. And you drink it. You gulp it down because I've been giving you water all day long. And then you wake up dead. See, that's what the adversary is going to do with his messengers. He's going to say a whole lot that makes sense. But it's that 10% that'll kill you. So this gentleman, man in the dark, talking to the young lady, talking to the lady. <sighs> the lady need to be hit in the head with a Bible. Not literally, but y'all know what I'm saying. Like somebody just, whoever know her, just need to lay hands on her. Just sister, here, here goes the olive oil. Just next time you see her, just sister, here, here, here go all kind of olive oil. It just sprinkle on her. She might want to fight you, but just dash some oil on her and run. And say, sister, you needed that. Because the lady, for one, y'all got to stop this. Y'all got to stop feeding into the nonsense. Now, she said the right thing, but the lady also said on there, I watch a lot of your videos. Ma'am, what in the world is you doing? What is you doing? That's the worst thing you could do. Listen to the devil talk. So the man talking to the lady, and he say, so if you and I get married, or you and I get together, for one, when you are a coach, when you are a leader, when you are an influencer, you should never insert yourself into a hypothetical situation with the person that you are coaching because you are inserting yourself in a position of power. So it sends the person into a mindset of fantasy of actually being with you and they cannot respond coherently as if you said, okay, if you meet a guy and y'all get together, because when you say, if you and I get together, you're saying that as an influencer with millions of followers, with status, with stature, with power, with influence. And so it skews the perspective of the person that you're talking to. So that is what you should never do. But men and women who are influencers and who are operating from the wrong spirit, when we operating from the wrong spirit, we will insert ourselves into this fantasy role to assert dominance, to apply pressure, to assert some power. And so that's what the gentleman did. Huge red flag. The other thing what the man did is he said to the lady, he said, so if we get together. And you got, you got a daughter. And when your daughter get 15 years old, your daughter five years old, in 10 years when she get 15, if your daughter say, 
I was looking at her when she got out the shower. What you going to do? What you will do? Now, the lady took the right approach, and then she didn't say, I will have to leave you. She said, well, I will have to leave that man. I will have to leave that man. I have to believe my daughter. Then the man got offended, like, you going to just believe your daughter? You just going to believe your daughter? So so you're going to choose your daughter's side against the man? And she was like, yeah, I will have to believe my daughter. It's like, see there? See there? That's the problem right there. That's the problem right there. Because kids say anything. Kids will say anything. Kids will lie. Right there. Maybe everybody who watch my videos know this. And I don't say people name though. But maybe everybody who watch my videos know this. But if you watch my video and you can't tell that only a predator will say something like that. Only a predator will say something like that. Because what you got to understand, for one, as a grown man, it ain't no reason that as a grown man... We should have a 15-year-old girl thinking anything, thinking, thinking anything. And then as a grown man, if a 15-year-old girl will tell a lie on us, we ought to be happy to leave. We ought to be so ready to leave. And, and if that 15-year-old girl will lie, that means that's the wrong relationship anyways. As a grown man, you don't never want a woman to take your side against her child as a grown man who is healthy, when you as a grown man is expecting a woman to take your side against her child and to believe her child lying for no reason, just out the blue telling lies about something like that, when that don't even make sense because every child want a father figure. It ain't a child in the world that don't want a father figure if the man is healthy. Now, see, if you got red flags as a man, that child might lie on you because of the other stuff you're doing, even if you ain't touching that child or looking at that child the wrong way. You saying something to that child that made that child tell that lie on you. Now, if the child got special needs, if the child just an obsessive liar, then the, the mama already know that. The mama already know that. But even then, you don't never know when the person who's selling wolf tickets is telling the truth. When the wolf really in the gates. So it's a parent's duty to always believe our children. But see, this the thing. That's the work of the adversary. Because if the adversary could put men in the household who touching the children and destroying the psychological side of a child, destroying the mental of a child, then our youth become rendered helpless. Our youth become null and void. Our youth becomes ineffective. They are so hurt. They so broken. They so tore down. And just by that man saying that, it's going to be a million women who do not believe their daughter when their daughter tells them that her boyfriend touched her or looking at her the wrong way or coming on to her. It'll be a million women who do not believe that little girl. And all for the sake of the one out of a thousand 15-year-old girls who actually telling a lie on that man. It'll be a million that get taken advantage of for the one that the man in the dark trying to make a point about. That is the devil. That is the devil. That is the work of the enemy. That is the adversary at its finest trying to come in, trying to deceive women, manipulate women, dominate, control, went to cussing. The man in the dark went to cussing, went to getting aggressive. See, what the F y'all gonna offer a man? What what is a what kind of asset can your child be to a man? A child don't need to be no asset to a man. A man ought to be focused on that woman, not them kids. Them kids going to fall in line if the man is a good and real man. Them kids going to be happy to have that man in the household. It's so many. It's millions of kids who love their stepdaddy, who love their bonus dad or whatever you call them, who love their dad. It's step kids who call the stepdaddy daddy because they want a daddy in the household. See, but for the... For, for these idiotic men 
to come and try to assume that a child just going to just wake up and lie. Just wake up and tell a lie just to be telling a lie. See that right there? That's the sign of a predator. That's a predator letting the woman that he talking to know when I touch your daughter, when I flirt with your daughter, when I do this right here, when I cross the lines with your daughter, you better take my side and you better believe me. See, that's the courting of the enemy. And see, that's what I try to tell you. When the devil sends somebody, they ain't going to give you the whole game. They're going to give you 80% of the game, 85% of the game, but they're going to leave some room so that they could play the game on the people they playing the game on. Listen, grown man should never have to worry about no child lying because at the end of the day, for one, for one, the court system don't even do nothing to the man off of hearsay. It got to be real evidence. So if the child lying, ain't nothing going to happen to the man anyways. If anything, it's just like good riddance. You got a lying child. I'm going to go on about my business. If I if I did something to your child, listen, turn, look at the cameras in your house, prove it if I did something to your child. But the fact that I know I ain't doing nothing to your child and your child lying, that obviously let me know your child don't want nobody in your life, so I'm going to go on about my business. That's the approach a grown man need to take. A grown man should never be trying to, you going to believe your child over me. You need to believe me over your child. How you fit to believe your child over me? what and that is how and you know why because i've been coaching for 15 years in this space for 15 years you hear me a lot of the the men in the dark they just popped up a year or two ago and giving relationship advice but you know what i coached a woman who got pregnant at 10 years old her uncle took advantage of her her stepdaddy took advantage of her and then when the deacon took advantage of her the uncle was the bishop the stepdaddy was the assistant pastor. The deacon was 19-year-old man. She was 10 years old. When he took advantage of her, she got pregnant. That's when her mama had to believe her. Her mama did not believe her. Cussed her out, called her nasty, called her fast, called her mannish, called her fresh, called her everything when she told on her uncle, who was the bishop. Then when she told on her mama husband, who was her stepdaddy, mama didn't believe that. Cussed eye. Cussed eye. The same thing I talked to another millionaire. That lady became a millionaire. I talked to another millionaire. Same thing happened. Her stepdaddy touching her from the age of two to the age of 17. Used to put a sandwich bag on his thing and sodomize her while she was sleeping. Used to come while she was sleeping and do that right there on her bike and let it fall on her bike while she's sleeping while she was a high schooler mama never left the man never left the man and this right here what the man in the dark trying to set these women up for trying to set these women up to turn against their own child and to believe a sorry stinking musky grown nasty man and these children finna be victims because of the devil that y'all listening to. And y'all listening to it, giving views to it, sharing it, all kind of nonsense. It need to be pit petitions to get this stuff shut down. It's women around the world right now being beat on because of the man in the dark. It's kids being touched on with no support, with no help because of the man in the dark. And then the idiots got the nerve to say real voices like myself is jealous. It ain't no way on God's green earth that I'm ever going to be jealous of somebody carrying Satan message because I know that it's a hot place in Satan's house for them. I ain't never, ever in my life going to be jealous of somebody that's sent by the enemy. You better wake up and smell the folders in the morning because think about this. The same man that's cussing out a woman for not being ready and willing to defend him against her own daughter got daughters. These same, these same men got daughters. Now, what these men going to do, what these men going to say when they daughter come to them and say, Daddy, mama boyfriend been touching me. Mama boyfriend been looking at me, opening the shower door when I'm getting out the shower and saw me naked. Daddy, what they going to say then? 
Oh, you lying. Are you lying? You lying on this man because you don't want your mama to have a boyfriend. You know what? I think you lying. You know what they're going to do? They going over there with a gun and ready to take that man's life. But then when it's on them, oh, the child lying. You need to believe me, not the child. See, listen to this stuff. And if you got the sense, talk to your friends about this. How you not calling 10 of your friends and saying, listen to this foolishness and tell me you're not watching this. Tell me you're not believing this. Come on now. We got to do better. We got to do better. Hey, this is Tony Gaskin. God bless. I ain't going to make this video too long because I'm in a hotel and I don't want to be it's paper thin because I heard them earlier today. And then I want to be short enough so it could upload. We'll talk soon. God bless. Hey, protect your kid now. Like that one boy said in, in the viral thing, hide your husband, hide your kid, or whatever he was talking about. Hey, protect your kids now. God bless you.